Hi guys, this is Postdoc Chronicles week number 140. So today I won't be presenting a video game. Instead, I'm gonna showcase these things called the uh, 8-bit DO uh, Bluetooth adapter as, as well as the Mi Flash Magic S Pro. Okay, so what are these guys? So like I said, these are uh, Bluetooth adapters. What they do is basically turn, you know, any USB controller or uh, Bluetooth controller for that matter to be able to connect to whatever console you want. So for example, if you, you have a PS4 controller, you want to use it on a Nintendo Switch, or you prefer the, you know, the, the, the pro controller of the Nintendo Switch, you want to use it on an Xbox or a PS4, then what you do is uh, you pair you pair your controller here instead of uh, directly to the system. And then this thing, you, you, you slot it into the, you know, the USB, uh, uh, a free USB slot of your, uh, of your uh, console, then basically that console for example, the Switch, it reads a PS4 as if it's a is it's a pro controller it reads an xbox controller as if it's a, a it's a pro con so it's very fascinating and the main reason why i bought this is uh, for my uh Pi Boy dmg so again my Pi Boy dmg it's like oh why would you play why would you connect a controller to a handheld so the thing is you can connect this to a tv via an uh, hdmi so then there are like a uh, usb slots here so for example you want like a uh, player player one player two so you just put the the main flash on top and then if you want like a uh, player two you put the the other the, the other guy on top and then and then then you can play uh, wirelessly let me let me slap this here very quickly yeah then you can play wirelessly uh, and then this connected to the tv you know just like you have you know your old uh, playstation setup for example or your old snes old nes uh, setup and then you would ask ah but doesn't it have a bluetooth capability yes that's correct a, a, a raspberry pi 4 indeed has a bluetooth but you know connecting a bluetooth on a on a retro pi is a bit of a hassle especially with a pro con and all these things so the nice thing about these guys is once you've set this up here once you've sync it on the on the on the the, uh, Bluetooth adapter, the 8-bit though. So the moment I, I, I slot it here, then that controller has has been uh, paired with this. I can use it right away on the Pi Boy. I don't want it, want it to use it on the Pi Boy, so I just uh, get this, use it my, on my Nintendo Switch. I ho I don't have to, you know, sync my my Pro Con to my Switch and then desync it, sync it again to the Pi Boy, and then if I want to use it again to the Switch, I have to desync it again. It's it's a hassle, and so yeah, it's it's a, that's 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 why you you buy this for. There are, it it has another color. It has like it actually looks like the brick from Super Mario. So it actually has the the brown color of a, a brown brick like like this this brick right here okay a brown brick like the bricks of a super mario but i got the gray one so that you know it, it resembles closely a little bit my uh my pie boy the mg and of course my funky s also look looks a bit uh, grayish but why do i have two of them so i have two of them because uh you know i just want to compare them and this one this i bought myself when i actually got the 8-bit dough, this tiny 8-bit dough thing. When I got this, again, you can connect this via Bluetooth directly to the Pi Boy or the Switch, but then I connect this to this to this guy, right? So that if I want to use this, then I just I just plug this to my Switch or my Pi Boy or my or my Mac or whatever without having to, you know, sync and resync the controller every time. So it's very uh, convenient. So I bought this uh, with that. This one is from my fiance. So the advantage, um, both both of them basically function uh, the same way, but the advantage is that of the uh, May Flash is, of course, the advantage first of 8-bit though is uh, it looks uh, slicker. It has, you know, a cover at the top, whereas the May Flash doesn't have that. And then yeah, it's very it's very it's very straightforward. You just uh, slot it in and so on. It's also cheaper, but yeah, the the May Flash is uh, more expensive, and the reason is that you can actually um, pair also a wired controller. So if you have like an old wired controller that's also only a uh, USB, and then you want that you want to pair that to something else that has a USB input. If that guy doesn't read you know a USB input, but then it reads a Bluetooth or something like that, then you use this uh, as an adapter. You know, it it basically sort of. Uh, uh, makes your uh, controller readable to whatever console you connected it to. So this is like uh, the, the pro version because before there are like older May flashes where they only work, I believe it's like Magic NS that only works, the, the, the gray color only works for the Nintendo Switch. There's a there's one, I believe it's called Magic S or something like that, that only works for a, a PlayStation. So Magic Sony, Magic Nintendo Switch, maybe that's 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 what they mean. But yeah, it's very it's, it's a very fascinating. And again, I use I use them in conjunction with my uh, Pi Boy DMG, which is uh, very good. So this I bought myself, uh, and this is from my I believe this around what's this twenty dollars? This is around thirty or uh, thirty five. Yeah, but 
my fiance got this for me and yeah it's very amazing because if i have like two bluetooth controllers i want to play two players then i can just connect them here uh, individually but anyway yeah speaking of my fiance yeah the plan was she was supposed to come to the to south africa during you know the last few weeks of my postdoc which is uh, this month but then her flight unfortunately got cancelled yeah which was uh, really stressful like she was already prepared she had the visa and all these things but yeah the you know deepak my supervisor told me that i, I he said that maybe that would have that would have uh, that would be for the best because if we would have been stuck here you know th there's like uh, some some uh, some some worries about a an upcoming third wave so if we get stuck here it would have it would even be worse so maybe you know in the future we can uh, visit uh, south africa again i already have like a collaboration uh, with wits uh, like uh, i'm already like sort of a part of the group of the particle physics group here so we can always uh, we're always welcome to come back if we want to once everything uh, goes back to normal but yeah that's what that was how that would have been the plan like she would stay here and then uh, for 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 two weeks until the May 21st, we would go back together to the Philippines. And then it was really stressful last week because um, my May 21st return ticket to the to Manila was actually cancelled as well last week when, when my fiancé's uh, ticket coming here was also cancelled. And so, yeah, so I had to, you know, when we tried to look for some other ticket so that she could come here, it, it, it like for Ethiopian Airlines, that's what we got. Nothing was available. It's already, you know, it's already too late towards the end of uh, May or early June. So we don't have that option anymore because we want to we want to be home like June because we're, we're going to be married in uh, July. And then uh, and then so what happened was uh, so so that got canceled. But then that, but then I wanted my May 21st to I wanted them to fix it, fix it. And then they could only give me, you know, something like May 30, May 31. And in fact, it wasn't even it was wasn't even confirmed because you know that like the the flight the flight uh from jo johannesburg to ethiopia was fine but then ethiopia to manila was the one that was problematic it was full so they said ah, it's still pending it's still pending i kept on bugging them until eventually like um i believe friday or thursday last thursday or something like that they eventually they they, they confirmed they said that ah, actually we're instating the may 21st uh, flight so both are confirmed but then i told them yeah do you think it gets cancelled again because you know i don't want to undergo again this you know hassle of uh uh rebooking and you know because then the, the ticket would be expensive they said if if it doesn't push through they put me they there's like a protection or something like that i i, I didn't like understand it very well but they would put me in the 24th instead and something like that but yeah so so, so we'll be um, since in the in the Philippines when when I go back there will be like a, a uh, six week uh, not six or six weeks uh, six nights so that's one week uh, mandatory quarantine there are like approved hotels so we'll get something that's near our uh, condo and then so I had I'll, I'll ask my uh, fiance to uh, to reserve that for me so I'll be staying there uh, for uh, for one week uh, as a quarantine because what happens is uh, on the on the sixth day that you're there that's the time they get your uh, PCR so it doesn't even even if you have like a negative test like me from South Africa I get a negative PCR here if I go back it doesn't matter that you still need to be quarantined and then they check you you know six days later because maybe you got the virus you know during the flight or the virus was dormant or whatever you know so that so that's 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 what they they wanted uh, to test so so i just want I'll, I'll clarify from the airlines if i still need to get a negative pcr i don't know like entering ethiopia or something even though it's a connecting flight i'll only be there for three hours do i still need it or if because if not then i can save some money because in the philippines they don't need it anyway but yeah there are like a lot of forms that i need to fill up i, I saw it so i need to print it i go to the, I'll go to the uh, uh, university one last time to print all those uh, papers and then yeah I also need to next week I also need to buy a new luggage because like I said um, my, my when my fiance was supposed to come here she would she, she what, part of the reason why she would come is you know she would help me bring some of my stuff in her luggage going back to the Philippines because usually I have like usually I have a tons of books and you know video game stuff and then usually I bring them home every december every christmas break of the year so i was able to do that in 2018 in 2019 unfortunately i wasn't able to go back in the 2020 so a lot of the stuff that i have here is will be with me when i go back uh, for the last time to the philippines so i'll be buying like a, a second uh, luggage the, the one smaller than the one i have because the one i have is the big one and then yeah so that's i want to have something where i can put the other stuff if the big one is not enough because from what i know from ethiopian airlines it's like a 23 23 kilograms the the, the vision so so yeah that, that that's the that's the that's the that's what i'm gonna be doing but anyway yeah for the postdoc i was able to uh, finish the uh, qualification uh, task note so it's still in the draft version so i'm still asking 
you know, mainly uh, Chris uh, uh, Giancarlo, my main uh, uh, technical supervisor, and Deepak, uh, my local supervisor, to make uh, comments about the QT note. And then once once I incorporate those comments, then then we're gonna upload it to the CDS, and then we're gonna wait, you know, when the when the uh, PMG uh, physics modeling group uh, conveners will you know sign off the uh, the uh, QT finally. So hopefully that 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 will be that will that will be quick. And then for the PMS SSM. Everything, all the all the events that I did was uh, was fine. I had to add and some additional events for the uh, because the MC uh, I forget the name MC E or something like that. It, it it wasn't enough, so I had to I had to add a few events corresponding to the different uh, sub process that we had. But I was able to add that like uh, like uh, last Thursday or Friday. Yeah, it was it, it was pretty quick. It just a few of them because maybe it wasn't exact. We were uh, Judith and I calculated the exact number that we would be uh, we would be uh, uh, how do you say this generating, and then maybe due to some filtering or you know not hundred percent efficiency, we didn't get the exact events that we want. So. Mateo wanted to add some specific number of uh, batches and so I was able to uh, do that and so yeah but yeah that, so the QT note actually Giancarlo already gave his comment uh, I just have to include uh, a sample uh, job option that I did in order in in uh, in uh, validating Diary and Vincia so I'm gonna do that and then I'm, go I'm gonna submit the merge request for the Vincia and Diary uh, bench fragment and then that should be the that should be the uh, the QT note okay and then for the MUED paper I'm still again waiting for the collaborators for their comments hopefully if I don't if I don't get them like maybe tomorrow I'm gonna pester them again so that hopefully we can submit that you know before I uh, leave for uh, for the Philippines but anyway guys yeah this has been post the chronicle so i'll still be doing this until maybe like the end of may uh until during my i don't know my one week quarantine in the in the in the philippines because technically the end of my postdoc is the may, may uh, 31st so this is the postdoc chronicles for uh, last week so we still have uh i believe three weeks or something like that to go okay but yeah this has been postdoc chronicles week number 140 thanks for watching i'll see you next time and bye bye